this video, I explain how the challenge of drought can be overcome by planting drought-resistant plants or trees. But first, let's look at our fact sheet. Forest cover is the amount of land that is covered by forest. Currently, Kenya has a forest cover of 7.4%. The country is working towards achieving a 10% cover. This is possible through planting drought-resistant plants, for instance, Melia Volkensai, especially in the drylands of Kenya, which take up to 80% of the total surface area. So guys, while still on our visit of Kasigao, we came across this uh, Jaika Kefri uh, plantation of Melia Volkensi. Uh, here they have 1,200 trees that they planted uh, almost seven years ago, since 2014 up to now. And mostly it's a progeny test. They do not intend to harvest these melias for timber. The idea is to have as many seeds as possible. As you can see, these are the seeds, the green ones. These are the seeds. So they just wanted to show the community that Melia volkensii is a plant that can be planted in this arid area and it can survive. So it was more of a progeny test. Uh, what you can see, as I said, it's a Melia volkensii. This one has so many seeds. And uh, as part of value addition and also encouraging people to plant Melia volkensii, there are people who buy seeds. These Melia volkensii seeds to, from farmers who have planted the, the tree. So it's a way of encouraging people to plant this tree. And also within uh, Kasigao, this, this uh, Red Plus project. I can say Red Plus is a, a financial system that rewards activities for climate mitigation. People are encouraged to plant more trees and they get paid for the carbon that results from the trees that they've planted. I think it's for DBH, diameter at breast height. These ones. Actually, the main challenge of this project mm -hmm. within this community. Uh -huh. uh, Melia Vole can see the community want to plant this tree, but the major challenge is the goats eating the tree. So you can see Japanese com Japanese government put the fence which we call chain link, which yes. is very expensive to manage as a community. That is why community they can't grow this this kind of trees mm. because of the goats. Yeah, I saw the challenge of goats eating on the uh, yeah, on think, the back. Yeah, exactly. You see, they are removing the back. Oh, yes. But this project, you can see here, it's very successful. Yes. Because of the very nice fence from chain link. Ah, thank you. Yeah. This is an example of a homestead that has adopted the idea to plant melias in their farm. And purposely this is for timber, timber purpose. And uh, just as Newton explained earlier, the main challenge here is the goats. They like the bark. They eat and destroy the plant. Oh, that's it.